Hello and welcome to this short tutorial on how to use the shift cipher. Now usually the shift cipher is referred to as the Caesar cipher, but the Caesar cipher is a very specific shift. Now if you take a look up here, we have the original alphabet that our plain text is written in, and then we have our substitution or our cipher text alphabet. Now right now A encrypts to A, B encrypts to B, C encrypts to C, and so on. But that's because we have not shifted our ciphertext alphabet. So if I go ahead and shift, it will move every letter of the ciphertext alphabet to the left. So that means right now A will encrypt to B, B encrypts to C, and C encrypts to D. So if we take a look at our plain text, I'll write uh, this is a shift cipher, and we'll go ahead and encrypt it. Now right now T is going to encrypt to U. So let's go ahead and see if that actually happens. And it does. Now H, H is supposed to encrypt to I, and H encrypts to I. So yes, it does. We come back up here, we can do any shift up to 25. Because once we get up to 25, we should be almost back to the original uh, substitution alphabet. So right now we have a shift to 25, which means A encrypts to Z. When I do it one more time, we are now back at a shift to zero because the A is now back to A. Now for the decryption, you would put your ciphertext in here, figure out which shift it is, and then decrypt it. Uh, now we go backwards actually when doing decryption. So right now if I do a shift of say three, then this U is actually ciphertext alphabet. So that's this U here. And that's supposed to go back to R. So let's go ahead and see if that happens, which it does. And then the I here will go back to F, and that does.